Hi, New Orleans. Uh, I'm your mayor, Latoya Cantrell, just coming to give you a little bit of background about how the city of New Orleans uh, got ourselves into uh, an affordable housing crisis. And not so much of how we got into it ourselves, but um, regarding policies that were made at a higher level than this city um, that we're still paying the price for. Uh, one is right around the end of 2008, 2009, uh, there was a, a white paper, a report that was written called The House That Uncle Sam Built. Now, this report, um, created by a good government group here locally, uh, made their case at the state level to the LRA, uh, the Louisiana Recovery Authority. Uh, this was all in that post-Katrina environment. And it stated that New Orleans was on, um, pretty much on the brink of having too many affordable uh, housing units in our city. Um, this um, reacted, um, there was a reaction to this report um, and the State Bonding Commission uh, froze all bonds that were associated with subsidies for affordable housing in Orleans Parish. Uh, it also uh, redirected millions of dollars uh, that were allocated to our city, but they were redirected outside of us. Therefore, our small landlord community did not receive adequate resources. As you all know, the Road Home Program uh, did not help our folks adequately as it should, uh, as well as uh, the Rental Property Program just never got off the ground the way that it was intended to. Therefore, we as a city and we as a people are continuing to pay the price uh, for these decisions that were made long time. But in addition to that, even as a city, now we were not focusing on affordability in the post-Katrina environment as we should. And so once the market takes off, it's very difficult for government to therefore catch, catch back up. So what we've seen is that our people have not had adequate resources to even rebuild their homes, uh, they have been in a situation to where they feel that they're getting pushed out or, or even priced out. Um, they feel that code enforcement measures have been intentional, um, that have come from the ground from those communities or people who are wanting them to sell. Um, so all of these different um, um, issues have come about. In addition to the short-term rental, uh, that did not create the affordability crisis, but it didn't help. We have to be honest about that. Um, but even as it relates to just our ability, you know, as a city to focus on affordable housing, we did not have a housing plan until 2015. So this 10 years after Katrina, so it really does set, it, it sets the tone um, and hopefully gives you some uh, better understanding of how we got in this situation. And now it's going to be up to us locally to get ourselves out of it. And that's why this constitutional amendment, number four, is so important to the city of New Orleans so that we can create tax incentives for affordable housing that are tailored to the needs of our city and our communities. Because not every neighborhood is created equal. We have some neighborhoods that really want an infusion of of, of homeowners that are right for it, uh, that have been uh, inundated with, with rental units like New Orleans East. It's not that they don't want affordable housing, they do, but they want increased home ownership. Uh, you have areas where we just need homes and we need also rental properties like, New, uh, like Lower Nine, you need the balance. So what I'm saying to you is that, yes, we're in affordable housing crises, and yes, I see that we have an ability and an opportunity to help ourselves get out of it. And being creative and innovative is why we worked hard at the state level on this constitutional amendment, giving us the right to bring it to the voters, working with the New Orleans City Council. And now we're asking our residents to help us help ourselves. Greater flexibility will create more affordable housing that is in home ownership, and yes, it is in rental properties as well. 
We have more renters in our community than we have homeowners. And we wanna move more people to home ownership, but you also need to be able to meet people where they are. Quality, affordable housing, everyone deserves that in every neighborhood. Thank you so much.